Back in November, the Marist Red Foxes capped off a tremendous season with a Pioneer Football Championship. But that was not the end of a career for one particular senior. The spring of Terrence's junior year, where the NFL came and they said they wanted to do a junior day with Terrence. In the history of Marist sports, there has never been a pro junior day. But they came, they said they wanted to do a junior day with Terrence. They did a junior day, then after that, basically every single day there was an NFL scout in the building. Go south side. Yeah. The main highlight of it was, you know, I just got to get on the field with my teammates, you know. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time that we all get together on the field, you know. It was just a pretty, you know, special moment, and I just take that and I cherish it. The impact of having a possible NFL prospect on a program that's an FCS school, that at that, a smaller non-scholarship FCS school is huge. So now recruits look at your program and they think, well, I can go to Marist, and if I'm good enough, I can make the NFL. It would, the pro day also enabled a lot of guys who were maybe fringe guys to go ahead and get their name out there and open some eyes. It was great, you know, I get to help my teammates, you know, who helped win a championship and we've been through this all, you know, we, ha we haven't had, you know, two good seasons, but like, you know, just bringing it back to Maris, you know, being at the first pro day is something that, you know, we wanted to do, you know, just we've been making history all year, why not, why stop now? When most of us graduate this spring, we'll be looking for our first real job. But Terrence Today's next employer may just be the NFL. Reporting for MSTN, Dan Cohen.